we are going to talk about risk factors for heart disease. Knowing your risk factors and learning about how to manage them is the first step to reducing your ongoing risk for further heart disease. If you have one or more risk factors for heart disease, you are more likely to be affected. Risk factors can be divided into two main groups, non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors. The first group are non-modifiable risk factors. These are risk factors that we need to be aware of, but we can't change them. They include age, as the older we get, the higher the risk of developing a heart condition. Gender, men have a higher risk of developing heart disease than women pre-menopause. But after menopause, the risk for men and women are similar. Family history. You have a higher risk of developing heart disease if you have a close blood relative who has had coronary heart disease, especially under the age of 55 for a male relative or 65 for a female relative. The second group are the modifiable or lifestyle risk factors. This group is much larger than the first group. And the good news is that by making changes to a healthier lifestyle, you can reduce your risk of developing further heart disease in the future. The risk factors in this group include smoking, being overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, lack of regular exercise, diabetes, stress, depression, and social isolation. We will now look at each of these risk factors and how we can reduce the impact these have. Smoking. Smoking affects the coronary arteries that supply blood to your heart, damaging the lining of blood vessels which can lead to narrowing and blocking of the arteries. Smoking can reduce the amount of oxygen being carried in the blood, can contribute to high blood pressure and an increased heart rate, as well as lower levels of HDL or good cholesterol. Compared to non-smokers, smokers have a two times higher risk of heart attack, three times higher risk of stroke, and 20 times higher risk of angina, but also can be affected at a younger age. Passing smoking or breathing in secondhand smoke also increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. The good news is that quitting smoking reduces your ongoing risk. Within one day of quitting, your heart rate, blood pressure and oxygen levels can improve. Within one year, your chance of a heart attack can be halved and research indicates that within 5 to 15 years, your risk of a stroke and coronary heart disease can return to that of a non-smoker. Overweight. Being overweight, especially carrying the excess around the abdomen, is not just a risk for your heart, including high blood pressure, but also increases your risk of diabetes. Being overweight can also contribute to raised LDL or bad cholesterol and triglyceride levels. The Heart Foundation recommends you aim for a waist circumference less than 94 centimeters for men and 80 centimeters for women. Calculating your body mass index or BMI, which takes into account your weight and height, can also be used to assess your risk. Healthy eating and exercise are two important ways to assist in achieving and maintaining a healthy weight. High blood pressure. Your blood pressure is the pressure of the blood in your arteries. It is recommended that your blood pressure should be below 140 over 90. The higher number is the pressure when your heart pumps blood out into the arteries, and the lower number is the pressure when your heart relaxes and refills. If your blood pressure is high, it can increase your risk of heart attack or stroke. The good news is that you can help keep your blood pressure well controlled by adopting a healthy lifestyle including stopping smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, undertaking regular physical activity, eating a healthy diet, including limiting alcohol and managing stress. Some people will need medication to help control their blood pressure. High cholesterol. Cholesterol is a fatty substance found in your blood that is needed by your body to make hormones and vitamin D. 
There are two main types of cholesterol. HDL, also called good cholesterol, because it helps keep cholesterol from building up in the arteries. Think of H indicating high, as we want a good level of this. And LDL, also called bad cholesterol, because it is a major cause of cholesterol buildup and narrowing of the coronary arteries. Think of L indicating low, as we want a low level of this. Triglycerides is another type of fat in the blood that can also increase the risk of heart disease. High triglycerides can be associated with low HDL levels. The good news is that to help keep your cholesterol levels at the recommended levels, you can help once again by adopting a healthy lifestyle, including stopping smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, undertaking regular physical activity, eating a healthy diet, including limiting alcohol, and controlling your blood glucose levels if you have diabetes. Some people will need medication to help control their cholesterol. Lack of regular exercise. Being physically active is an important part of a healthy lifestyle to help reduce risk of heart disease and for your heart health. Aiming for 30 minutes or more of moderate intensity physical activity or exercise on most days of the week can benefit your heart. You can build up to this if you are not able to do this straight away and break it up into three 10 minute or two 15 minute lots if that is more achievable for you. Activities such as walking, bike riding, swimming or playing sport can be ideas for you but try to find something you enjoy doing as you are more likely to keep doing it. Moderate intensity exercise is where heart rate and breathing will increase within safe levels, but you can still talk without feeling short of breath while doing the activity. Muscle strengthening exercises are also an important part of a healthy physical activity program, as well as reducing the amount of time spent sitting during the day. Being physically active can help you manage some of the other risk factors for heart disease, including being overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and emotional well-being. Diabetes. Having diabetes can increase your risk of developing heart disease as it can increase the risk of plaque narrowing the coronary arteries. You can help by managing your diabetes and keeping your blood glucose levels within recommended levels. Once again, adopting a healthy lifestyle including stopping smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, undertaking regular physical activity, eating a healthy diet including limiting alcohol will help with your diabetes management as well as reduce your risk factors for heart disease. Emotional well-being. Stress is often discussed when identifying risk factors for heart disease. Understanding and managing stress are important in ensuring emotional well-being and managing the daily pressures that we deal with. Some stress can be good in helping us to achieve things, but at other times stress can be negative, especially if we adopt unhealthy lifestyles to cope with the stress. Also, being diagnosed with heart disease and requiring medical treatment is stressful for most people. Anxiety and depression have been identified as risk factors for heart disease. Some of the treatment options for these include undertaking physical activity or exercise programs and psychological therapies with a trained health professional such as a psychologist or psychiatrist. Some people will need medication to help manage their anxiety or depression. Social isolation has also been identified as a risk factor for heart disease. Cardiac rehabilitation programs are one way to connect with people who are also experiencing similar events, as well as support available from professional staff. Identifying risk factors for heart disease can often seem overwhelming especially if you have multiple risk factors. But if you stop smoking, try to eat a healthy diet, exercise regularly, and look after your emotional well-being, you are well on the way to controlling your heart disease risk factors.